Hello dear students, welcome to this session. Let us start new lesson, Soil of India. In this chapter, we are going to learn different type of soil found in India. As you know, India is the country of diversity in different aspects. It is also vivid in soil of India. We have different type of soil like alluvial soil, like black soil, red and yellow soil, laterite soil, arid soil and mountain soil. So different top, top types of soil. So before I am going to start this chapter relation, first and foremost we have to deal with what is the learning objective of this chapter. So, in this chapter, we will learn what is soil, identify the most important type of soil, distinguish uses, characteristics of different type of soil, Soil erosion, soil conservation. These all are in this chapter we have to learn here. So, first and foremost, we have to deal soil. As you know, soil is a renewable resources after breaking down a long period of rocks we have what we have found soil so soil is a renewable natural resource it supports various living organism and is the medium of plant growth you know that in the on the surface of the earth that means earth crust we living organism live very easily due to support of soil. Different living organisms live here. So top soil is the most uppermost layer. We will deal also layer of the soil later. But you know top soil is the uppermost layer of the earth. It consists of humus factors such as variation of temperature, parent rocks, decomposers and running water affect the formation of soil. You know very much how soil is formed. Factors such as variation of temperature due to variation of temperature, parent rocks, not only uh, uh, variation of temperature but also pressure and uh, due to lack of uh, light and uh, lack of uh, oxygen, these factors are decomposed and running water affect the formation of soil. These are the factors of soil making process. So we also know the fertile soil is essential for agriculture production. So this fertile soil having one common thing, some common thing is enough moisture to supply essential nutrients of the plants. It should have sufficient depth to enable the plants to grow their roots. It is rich in nutrients such as nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, which is very essential for plant to grow. It contains organic matter. The fertility of soil can be improved by adding fertilizers. If we don't have fertility in our soil, we use fertilizers. Now this is soil profile. As you seen here, this is uh, uppermost layer is the top soil and uh, after that subsoil, parent rocks and bed rocks. These all are divided into A, B, C category, A horizon, B horizon, C horizon. So let us deal all of that. Horizon A 
that is also called top soil is also called humus layer because uh, plant grow here and the organic material grow here rich in organic material in this top soil due to this plant and the we animal kingdom live here okay so this is the uh, region of top soil has dark brown color the humus makes top soil soft porous to hold enough air and water in this layer the seeds germinate and roots of the plants grow many living organism like earthworms you open quite often than not see in the field of agriculture earthworms millipedes and the centipedes bacteria fungi are found in the this layer of soil okay now horizon b that means subsoil just after top soil it is horizon b subsoil okay it is the lighter in color than the top soil it is the lighter in color than the top soil okay this layer is less organic but rich in minerals brought down from the top soil it contains metal salt especially iron oxide in the large proportion farmers often mix horizon a and b when plugging their fields so you are the area of field a plain area of india you live in where you live in so you must know how we are we, our farmers plugging there okay bedrocks or horizon c bedrocks is also known as parent rocks lies just uh, below the subsoil it contains no organic matter and made up of stones and rocks so it is very hard this layer represents transition zone between the earth bedrock horizon a and b so this is all about soil profile classification of soil we can classify our soil into three category sedimentary or residual soil transported soil or sorry two category uh, sedimentary uh, resi residual soil and transported soil that means when the soil soil form in the original position by uh, fragmentation of the parent rocks it is called in situ or residual soil this includes black red laterite and desert soil transported soil means transport means from one place to another place it is ported okay by any medium so these soil are formed after being transported and deposits by various agent of erosion such as water winds this includes alluvial soil soil in india can be classified on the basis of texture thickness age chemical and physical properties okay so we have types of soil in india in this first is what alluvial soil okay so alluvial soil it is formed by the deposition of sediments brought down by the river very fine particles you are live in the plain area that means the area of river where okay so in this area you find a lot of alluvial soil here so you recognize alluvial soil easily it is very fine particles of soil called alluvium are deposited by the rivers in plain okay it is also riverine soil because it mainly found in river basin as i told you uh, it consists of sand sand clay silts 
known as loam okay sand clay and silts are also it is the shape of the soil where sand is biggest and clay is bigger and silt is smaller the smallest okay so it has been deposited by the three himalayan river system ganga and the indus river in the brahmaputra river system mainly in india and also it is found in the delta parts of the mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri you also uh, can easily understand map skill of river so you easily understood where it is the delta area and the plain area river area of ganga brahmaputra mahanadi godavari and krishna kaveri alluvial soil is classified into two parts khadar and bangar okay so alluvial soil is very fertile soil while alluvial soil is dry poor sandy fans yellow in color lower ganga valley becomes compact less coarse and moist in west bengal and bangladesh okay it is deficient in nitrogen and humus only alluvial soil of ganga rich in humus okay and also it is alkaline in drier area so difference between bangar and khadar this is very important for any examination bangar soil it is old alluvial soil it has higher concentration of kankar and nodules it is comparatively less fertile okay khadar is new alluvial soil it is less concentrated of kankar and nodules it has it is more fertile as it is deposit every year during the monsoon floods okay so if you will uh, you, you have to write this answer it is better to write in tabular form okay you can write it uh, like that but it is good for uh, writing tabular form so this is actually the region of look at this this is the actually region of alluvial soil if in your map skill it will be asked draw alluvial soil find in, uh, found in india where it is then you can draw map like that okay so just remember in soil this is alluvial soil okay so thank you so much we will discuss again soil of india different type of soil thank you so much